The new bombshell in the Swadley's Foggy Bottom kitchen scandal. The state fire marshal reporting Swadley's never got building permits for any of the restaurants at state parks, citing numerous life safety issues with those buildings. Fox 25's Wayne Stafford has been combing through this report for us. He has the latest tonight. This report we obtained through an open records request details a number of issues with the Romano's restaurant and others across the state, but it also reveals a certain misunderstanding when it comes to Swadley's leadership at OTRD and the Oklahoma law. The Oklahoma State Fire Marshal report dates back to 2020 when a fire marshal agent described as Agent BB discovered that the fire marshal's office had not received a permit for the new Foggy Bottom Kitchen restaurant at Roman Nose. The report says that the vice president of Swadley's then told the agent that no permits had been applied for and that they didn't submit plans on this restaurant or any of the other restaurants recently opened at state parks owned by the state of Oklahoma. After a quick inspection, the agent advised them of code violations and life safety issues that were found. The report reads, it was noted that certain emergency lights and sprinkler heads were blocked by decor and building material. It was noted that the fire alarm for the entire facility was in trouble mode. It was noted that the new deep frying appliances had been installed without the proper system review and that a deep fryer was not protected by a required extinguishing system. According to the report, later that same day, Brent Swadley, owner of the restaurants, contacted the agent saying, quote, this is bigger than you and there are more politics at play here than you could ever understand. Governor State reached out to me to put my restaurants in his state parks. The agent says in the report, Mr. Swadley also explained that any documents that I submit to him will be forwarded to Governor Stitt and that I will have to answer to Governor Stitt on the matter. The report states Mr. Swadley saying, quote, you can deal with the governor and Jerry Winchester with OTRD. I'll just be the middleman. Later that same day, Agent BB is then contacted this time by Oklahoma Deputy Director of Tourism, Gino DeMarco. The report reads, Mr. DeMarco hinted that he knows that the laws of Oklahoma don't really apply to the state of Oklahoma itself and that they don't have to permit or submit plans to the state fire marshal by order of their general legal counsel. We read the rest to the assistant state fire marshal. In this report, it states this. Mr. DeMarco then states several times, quote, what are we really after here? Are we really after code compliance? What will it take for this to be taken care of and satisfy all parties? Can we just have an inspector verify that the violations you noted are correct and not worry about plans, end quote? What do you think about that? That's not the way we do things. Uh... I'm going to make an assumption as to how our agent would have responded to that. I would think my agent would have said that no, we are after code compliance. A simple inspection is not going to make this happen. Do you think Mr. DeMarco was maybe hinting toward some kind of quid pro quo type of scenario? I have actually never met Mr. DeMarco. I, I couldn't really comment on what he was thinking. Fox 25 reached out to Gino DeMarco to get his reaction. Hello, is this Gino DeMarco? We never got a hold of him. We contacted the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department and they sent us this statement. Quote, the statements made by Mr. DeMarco do not reflect the department's commitment to public safety. When the department became aware of Foggy Bottom Kitchen's failure to secure the legally required inspections and permits outlined in the terms of the agreement, department staff immediately began work with the Oklahoma State Fire Marshal to ensure all restaurant locations were brought into compliance. Every aspect of this agreement is being investigated and any violation of state law will be reported to the appropriate authorities. Of course, this is an ongoing and developing story. We'll have those latest updates right here. Reporting, Wayne Stafford, Fox 25 News. Now, taking a look at the original contact between uh, contract between Swadley's and Oklahoma, it does say the lessee, Swadley's, will obtain all required inspections and permits required by law. Also, according to an open records request, Swadley's invoiced the state in the thousands for building permits. We're told right now none of the restaurants are up to code or permitted. You can find this full story on OKCFox.com.
Tonight, we have new reaction from one of the people named in the state fire marshal's report involving Swadley's Foggy Bottom Kitchen. We're now hearing from former Oklahoma Deputy of Tourism, Gino DeMarco. Fox 25's Wayne Stafford talked with DeMarco about his involvement with the Swadley's deal and that fire marshal's report that has everyone talking. On Wednesday, we tried to get a hold of DeMarco over the phone, but he hung up. So today, we went to his house, and this time, DeMarco answered our questions and claims it was a misunderstanding. Hello, Mr. DeMarco, we wanted to see if we can get you to comment on some of the issues uh, that have uh, come up uh, between Swadley's and OTRD. This statement right here, uh, in regards to the fire marshal, uh, saying uh, that, uh, really quote, the fire marshal quoting you, saying that, uh, uh, you know the law of Oklahoma don't really apply to the state of Oklahoma itself, and they don't have to permit or submit plans to the state fire marshal by order of the general legal counsel. Do you have any response no, to that? that? That was his characterization, that characterization. That was a question for him of does that apply to the state of Oklahoma or does it apply only to private businesses? Why didn't any of the Swadley's locations have the proper permits before they started renovations? They thought that they did. Well, they were, and, and they were very good. In that right. report, if you read in that report, we pr talked to the fire marshal the previous April at the time and explained the project to him, and he said we didn't have to have, as far as he knew, that we didn't have to have any permits for that. Anyone who is involved in construction knows that that would never be the case. Any type of major remodel requires a permit, requires inspections. Uh, it, it's, it just seems ridiculous that anyone would ever say that. Those were... That was what he said, and they called the city of Watonga, who came out to Roman Nose and the city of Watonga. But that's out of city limits. I don't know that, I don't know if, that, I didn't know if that's true or not. Well, it is true. So I want to say this direct code right here. It, this is from the agent. It says, quote, uh, what are we really here for? Are we really here for code compliance? What will it take for this to be taken care of and satisfy all parties? Can we have an inspector verify that the violations you noted are correct and not worry about plans? Were you attempting to like skirt around, I, I guess? No, the, I mean, we were absolutely asking him, is it possible to get this done without getting plans done? What are we after? Are we after code compliance? Great. We have emails saying that you were trying to see if you can get the approval process going faster of these invoices, just trying to get several invoices approved quicker. If I remember right, we were sitting on a lot of invoices from them they were saying, we need working capital. Is there any way we can get these done? So I inquired with the, fi the finance department, you know, is there, is there any way to get this done faster? Were you ever concerned that Swadley's was being disingenuous at any point? That didn't really occur to me then. It occurred to you now? There's audits going on right now, so I guess they'll tell whether or not there was anything untoward happening or not. The state fire marshal's report also details Brent Swadley, owner of the restaurant chain, saying, quote, Governor Stitt reached out to me to put my restaurants in his state parks. How involved was the governor in this Swadley's contract? Not at all. I mean, he had nothing to do with it. We were, we were an agency. We were this was state parks. We also reached out to the governor about Swadley's claim. His office says, quote, the governor does not have any relationship with Brent Swadley, and he has not talked with him about the Oklahoma Department of Tourism and Recreation's state park restaurant contract. Swadley's statements to the contrary are absolutely not true. This story is still developing, and we'll continue to follow it. Reporting, Wayne Stafford, Fox 25 News. Thank you, Wayne. We will, of course, continue to stay on top of this developing story. And these are just some of the invoices and emails between Swadley's and the Tourism Department since 2020. Fox 25 obtained these documents through the open records request. And we've got your back. We will continue to pour over the details and bring you any new information that we find. Wendy Suarez is hearing for the first time from owner Brent Swadley as the state has canceled its contracts and filed suit against the company. I was able to reach Brent Swadley by phone today as his business dealings with the state and your tax dollars are under fire. His message to me, the truth will all come out. And let me be clear, I do not have any sort of relationship with Brent Swadley. I don't know Brent Swadley. Uh, I have no involvement in this contract. 
The governor Friday doubled down on his lack of involvement with Brent Swadley and the controversial contracts that put six of his restaurants in state parks. Hi, Brent. It's Wendy Suarez from Fox 25. Just hoping to finally get some of uh, your side of the story. Can you verify that you had a relationship with the governor? While he wouldn't speak with us on camera, Swadley did tell us over the phone, quote, it's so political and way above us that I don't even know. It's heartbreaking what Kevin Stitt said. I mean, I was in tears. I couldn't believe he was going to act like he doesn't know me. Swadley also expressed frustration about how state leaders are handling the situation, telling me, quote, it's not at all the way it's being portrayed in any form or fashion, and we've yet to be contacted by the state. No one has told us anything, so we are as shocked as can be. Swadley denied knowingly skirting the permitting process at the restaurants, telling me he didn't know there was a state fire marshal and that they had been working with local fire departments at each location. A Fox 25 investigation revealed still a majority of the restaurants are not currently up to code. Following our reports, the head of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department, Jerry Winchester, resigned, and the governor vowed to protect taxpayers and shine a light on any corruption or bad actors. But Swadley insists nothing is as it appears, saying, quote, I would love for someone to start to consider that we might be the victims here. We may be the ones who've been corrupted against. Consider that. Swadley said he had three catering events on the schedule for this week with the state fire marshal's office, including one today. Saturday, he got a message saying that with everything going on, they had to cancel. He called it unfair.